What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode two of our Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. Um, we ended last episode after saving the little assistant Lily, and now I left you guys in suspense to decide which uh, which starter am I going to choose. And I didn't ask for input in the comment section, but I'm going to go back and read the... I I'm not going to... I'm playing through this consecutively, so I'm not going to have seen if you left comments in the last one about which one I should pick, so I'm sorry. But uh, I pretty much made up my mind uh, before... While I was waiting for the game, I, I think I knew which one I wanted, and it's going to be Poplio. I just, he's so cute. <laughs> Look at him. He's so cute. So, um, yes, I will choose the water type Poplio. I will. I chose him. Get chose, did Poplio. My goodness. He's so cute. Only when you both chosen each other can you truly call each other partners. Please choose me back, Poplio. How how big a turnaround would that have been if if I if I choose Poplio and then he's just like, nah. No thanks you <laughs> oh goodness me but hopefully hopefully that's not the case um so let's see if little poplio there also decides to choose you poplio is gazing at me quite sweetly guys i'm thinking uh he's looking around bark <laughs> all right all right he chose me I lifted him gently into my arms yeah I did bark bark <laughs> happy chicken bark bark he seems to be preening a bit oh so little Poplio has accepted you as well Gio having accepted one another you'll surely be friends for life Would you like to give Poplio a nickname? Uh, heck yeah, I would. Uh, Poplio, you're gonna be a little pee, bro. You're my little pee. Little pee. Pee unit? Actually, ooh, pee unit is... Because that one's kind of funny because, like, pee, you, like, smells bad. So I'm gonna save that one for maybe a poison type. A little pee. No. I want to name him Polio. I don't want to name him Polio. He can be a little P. Talking little P, man. Plus, we can always change it because he's ours. He's mine. Nice to meet you, Poplio. Pew! I love Nebby. Oh, when did you get out again? I know the Kahuna Hala and the Professor will keep you safe from any harm, but. You should still stay in your bag and out of sight. It's safer that way. I think you chose a wonderful Pokemon. Please take very good care of it. Thanks, Lily. That's it, Geo. Now you got a real Pokemon. You're a real Pokemon trainer, yeah? And here's a lovely gift for me to make you special, cousin. A Pokedex! It looks kind of weird. Pokedex is a real high-tech kind of tool, yeah? You can automatically record facts about any Pokemon that you meet. Your new partner, Poplio, is already registered. Oh, yeah. Let's check it out. Is that a map? That's a trainer passport. I had put together for you. Now, why don't you introduce your new friend to your mom, Geo? All right. Mama Bra's gonna check... Mama Bra's gonna check out this, uh... Check out Lil' P, man. Who this? New phone, who dis? Hey! You and me, let's have a Pokemon battle! <laughs> Where's the fire, boy? And what kind of Pokemon battle would that be where you don't even give a name first, eh? <laughs> Fair enough, then I'm Hal, and my partner's lit in. 
Yo, oh, that's how. Your Poplio looks really cool too. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. So let's battle. I couldn't wait to. What? I couldn't wait for you to find your way to Iki Town. So I've been looking all over for you. Um, I don't really like to see Pokemon battles where Pokemon get hurt, but I'll watch for you. Oh yeah, your first battle already. Just have the Pokemon dish out some moves and see who wins. Woohoo! <laughs> I appreciate your being willing to take on my grandson here. I expect a no-holds-barred battle from the both of you. I ain't about to pull any punches, but uh, I'm also going to save, because if this kid crits me and I lose my first ever in-game trainer battle. Okay, that's a cool little save animation. I'm all about that. I'm about that life. You will battle me, right? I know you will, right? Yeah, and I won't lose. Alright, this is gonna be great. Very well, let the Pokemon battle begin. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, he's stretching it out. This means... Alright, Pokemon Trainer How. Look at this animation. This game is crazy. But unfortunately, little P Man got the upper hand on this on this ish. Look at this cute little. Okay, so brand new battle screen. We got fight on the right, Pokemon bag and run. I start out with water gun. Wow, he's gonna ember me. So this kid doesn't even know ish about Pokemon. Look at this like cell shaded cartoony graphics of the uh, of the damage. I almost Oko this kid. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna stick it clean. So he's outsped me twice, so no speed ties going on here. He scratched me that time, did way more damage. But we cruising. This guy is D E D dead. <laughs> Ding. Let's get a good look at our stats here. Getting attack up, defense up, special defense up. I don't know what my nature is, and I don't know what uh, EVs I got from that kid, but I'm sure I didn't get enough EVs to actually boost me anywhere. But it looks like, uh... It's too hard to tell. Hoo-ah! <laughs> oh, how. I like this kid. Interesting that they give your rival the Pokemon that you're strong against. It's normally the other way around. Hoo <laughs> wee! That gave me chicken skin! Geo, right? Your Poplio was awesome! Now that settles it. I'm going all out tomorrow. Oh, we got shining. Hmm? Geo, would you be so kind to give me a look at that sparkling stone you've got? You've got quite the treasure in that Herodric cube. I realize it now. I realize what I'm doing. I'm giving Hollow the voice of Deckard Cain, but like maybe just only slightly younger. Could it be? Tutu, isn't that? He calls his grandpa Tutu. You were rescued by Tapu Koko at the bridge. Isn't that what I heard, Geo? Yeah, that's when he rescued me. So it even designed, deigned to give you a stone. Perhaps you are here in Alola, Geo, because this is where you are meant to be. Allow me to borrow this stone for now. That's called stealing. Fret not, I'll return it to you tomorrow evening. It would seem that you have the makings of a fine trainer. Holla, don't try and butter me up. You just jacked my sparkling stone. I don't know what's going on here. I might get it back. It might not be as sparkly. I don't know what you've done with it. It could be a completely different stone. You're like, oh, oh yeah, the one you gave me yesterday was, it, had, it was nothing special, but here you go. And, oh, by the way, I found this rock, and it's actually the stone he stole from me, and it turns out to be, oh, whatever, a Pokemon. You must do us the honor of joining in our festival tomorrow. Dude, I moved here on like the perfect time. There's a lot going on. I just got here. First, I'll make sure you get back home safe today though, Gio. Lily should come meet with us too, yeah? Wouldn't want you to go losing twice in one day. You and your precious Pokemon are yours. Yes, I'll keep an eye on you. Nebby! <laughs> Pew! Oh, you... Would you not try and escape the very moment you were told not to wander off? 
<laughs> Everyone's laughing. We're all laughing. We're having a great time. <laughs> oh, Nebby. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Welcome back, Geo. What's up, Mama Bruh? So what kind of Pokemon did you get? Don't keep me waiting. Bar? <laughs> oh, I think I'm falling in love. So why did you choose this, sweetheart? I did choose it because it's cute. I'm gonna be- I'm not gonna front. I, that's why I chose it. Well then, you picked right because I'd say this little charmer is definitely cute and cool. Okay, so easy way out there, game freak. You just put that in so no matter what I said, she had the same response. The two of you look great together. I feel happier just looking at the pair of you. Mer? Bar? Well, they're happy to be friends, I'm sure. But they're not going to see much of each other because I'm busting out this and uh, and we're never coming back the next day. Mm. Is she doing a sun salutation? I could do a sun salutation between this episode, actually. What a stunning sunset. All right, today's the day that I finally unpack. Was that the doorbell? Go see who it is, Gio. East side, we in this. Okay, this is Kukui again, I know it. He just lets himself in before I even get to the door. I did not open anything. You are breaking and entering, sir. You must leave now before I call the cops. Hey there, Gio. It's about time we set out for that festival, yeah? But first, now that you're a real Pokemon trainer with your own Pokemon and all, I gotta show you something. Come with me to Route 1. Hmm. Have fun at the festival, sweetie. <laughs> okay, thanks, Mom. <laughs> I'm sure you have a good time with your new Pokemon pal. Me and Meowth will be sure to unpack every last box here. You'll see. Marie? Meowth's not about that. He doesn't really want to help out. Meowth's kind of lazy, you know? He just wants the, uh... He wants the easy way out. Geo, hurry it up, cousin. Pretend like you're a Pokemon and use your agility. See, that's a great joke for people who are familiar with the uh, the Pokemon franchise and knows that that's going to double my speed. But some people don't might not know that. Yeah, over here. Is he going to teach me how to catch a Pokemon? So you know that wild Pokemon will sometimes jump out of the tall grass, yeah? Now that you got Poplio here... You can not only fight wild Pokemon, yeah, you can also try and catch it too. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to catch a wild Pokemon, alright. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hmm. What are you gonna catch? Picky Peck! Oh, guys, okay, I don't know how many of you speak Tagalog, but that's like really close to a bad word in Tagalog. Really close. So he's got a little rock rough. He's hit him with that tackle. Okay, Picky Peck has got no defenses. Or he's just a really low level. Cause I'm, this Pecky Peck is level seven. But a week in a Pokemon, oh, he's level three, that's why. Week in a Pokemon, click there. I'm gonna skip this, guys. I'm positive you know how to catch a Pokemon. And this is just gonna be a waste of time for y'all. Actually, no, I'm not. Because check out that animation. That was pretty sweet. That was pretty sweet. I'm gonna, um... Don't mind me. Picky Peck was caught. Honestly, I'm not gonna get over I'm actually, if I ever catch one, I'm gonna nickname it that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, Pokemon do sometimes attack people if they get close. But catch them, and they'll join your team and be a great help to you, yeah? But if your Pokemon get all tuckered out by fighting for you, just head home for a bit. Ask your mom. I'm sure she'll let you and your whole team rest up at home. Or you can use some potions. Here's some Pokeballs and potions to get you started out. Aerial transfer of Pokeballs. Potions, probably. What do you got? Five potions? That's a lot. Why don't you have a little adventure of your own? On the way to Eke Town, yeah? Take good care of Geo Poplio. This guy's out venturing. I kind of just want to... I just want to catch something. You know what I mean? Just get something nice. Yep, we got a picky pack. Get him, little pea. 
This is a female picky pack too. I'm gonna hit him with that pound, just like bop him. Wow, I'm weak. I'm really weak, but honestly, you can probably just catch him right now. So I'm just gonna do it. I'm not even gonna waste no time. Because you usually don't need to weaken Pokemon that much in the earlier parts of the game. You can catch him pretty much uh, hardly any damage at all. And he's really weak. So let's just pound him once, catch a Picky Pack. I didn't want to attack him again with my lowered attack. It wouldn't... I don't know. Picky Pack! Registered! This Pokemon feeds on berries whose leftover seeds become ammunition for the attacks it fires off from its mouth. So this thing is going to learn Bullet Seed. Uh, what does action do? Oh, it's just doing stuff like that. All right. Let's just hit A for next. Uh, yes, we're going to give it a nickname. It, we're going to name it a bad word in Tagalog. Because it sounds like its name. <laughs> uh... Picky pack. Pack pack. <laughs> Alright, so we got that. We're gonna check out over here. We see a little Pokeball item over here. In previous I didn't check there. Um, I'm gonna wanna pay attention next time I catch a Pokemon. Whether or not you get experience for catching. In previous games, you did. I'm gonna try moving up here. This kid is ready to go. What is up? When the eyes of the Pokemon trainers meet, it's time to battle. That is a quote from one of the youngsters in the original games. So this is youngster Jimmy. And he sends out a Rattata. What? Are you kidding me? That thing... So, I this is another thing. I know there are a thing called Alolan forms. And now... I'm like, I'm pretty confident that's, I'm like, seeing one of them now, because that's... I mean, look at that thing. That looks nothing like a normal Rattata. I'm a two-hit KO this thing. He's gonna hit me with that tackle. He has a solid four. <laughs> and, uh, let's finish this bad beast off. Look how cool it looks! It's standing on two feet! It's got, like, a sensei mustache. And I'm a ding again. Beast up my special attack. I'm probably going to want to level up Peck Peck a little bit. Get him a little stronger. I'm not 100% sure that this is the way I need and or want to be going. But I'm assuming that's a trainer too. She's tossing that Pokeball up. I'll show you my sister, who I'm super close to. What? This is Lass Audrey. She's looking to be about my age. She's just chilling out in the wild. She got this underhand throw, so you know she plays softball. Ah, oh, little P, man. This is going to be weird if his final evolution's name doesn't begin with the letter P, and then I'm called Lil P, and I should be called, like, I don't know, maybe his name's, like, Zolio, and it begins with an X. I'm a gangster like that. A pound will do the trick here. Save some of that, uh... That moved so slow, I was worried it wasn't going to finish him off, but it did. Oh, I've had it. Alright, last Audrey. Okay, I want to get that Pokeball that's up in the top corner there. Or that whatever item this is. Found a Pokeball. Good. Great. That'll make up for the uh, the one I caught earlier. Really, I'm just kind of hoping that this is a way... This is another way for me to get to uh, where I was trying to go. This looks like a little area. Can I kind of sneak around here? I can. And there's an item here. It's just an antidote. I'm going to sell that. Okay, it looks like we're... Are we connecting? The festival in Iki Town is going to start any minute now. We should hurry up and go. Okay, so it doesn't want me to go that way. 
Pokemon can gain AXP by battling together. The XP points help them grow stronger. Everybody knows that. I'm kind of like hearing noises in the background too. Little Pokemon saying things to me. That area is blocked off. This guy probably wants to battle me, so I'm going to do it. See, he asked me nicely to battle. He asked me really nicely. So, this is Preschooler Oliver. Preschooler, that's why. He's got some good manners. Young Goose. Okay, so, Young Goose was not a snake. It looked like a snake earlier. It's a mongoose. Mongoose hates snake. S snakes. <laughs> Let's hit him with that water gun because my special attack's higher and water gun's got that uh, that sweet stab bonus. Same type attack bonus. It hits for one and a half times as much damage as using a move that is not your same type. So if you're here and you're new to the channel and you're still not deciding on uh, or still not decided on whether or not you're going to be competitive, that's a fact for you. Every, the, the rest of you guys already know that. But we're very early in this game. We can talk about beginner style things. We can do that. That's just one of the... That's one of the many things we can do. We're very capable individuals. Uh, there looks to be an item to the left there. I'm hearing, like, noises. So I'm wondering if this is, like, an Oros where you can see the outline of the, uh, the Pokemon in the, in the background. We got a young goose here. I'm gonna hit this thing with a pound. No, I'm gonna water gun it. I haven't one shot anything all day. And this thing doesn't look to be less defensive than a pick pack. Picky pack. He's gonna go for the leer, but I got him weak enough now. Is this another female? Man, I'm in breed town right now. I can get so many of these Pokemon. Let's toss a Pokeball directly at his face. Got him! Young Goose? Goose! Alright, let's read this. Okay, so Young Goose is number 13, so we know Picky Peck uh, then is a 3 evolution Pokemon. It wanders around in a never-ending search for food. At dusk, it collapses from exhaustion and falls asleep on the spot. That is inconvenient. We're going to give Young Goose the nickname. We're going to nickname it Goose. And that is a Top Gun reference. Goose. Very cute new starters. Um, oh, man. Okay, so we, uh, you get into battles really quickly here. Ooh, a Metapod. Not even a Caterpie. Not even a Caterpie. Not even bad. Another female. Okay, let's be honest. Lil P is a ladies boy. No. <laughs> Not a lady boy. A, a ladies man. What can we say? They all but no, we don't need to attack it again. What we have shown actually Metapod might be harder to catch. Maybe I should have weakened it more. Hit him with a pound. At some point I should start leveling up these other guys. Because the whole thing about this, what I'm gonna try and do in this playthrough is um, level up everything, evolve everything that's new that I haven't seen before. Lil P's now level 8. Got this balanced attack, special attack thing going on. Looks to have decent enough defenses and uh, low speed. Disarming voice, okay. We going fairy... Whoa. If this... If Poplio becomes water fairy, like Azumarill, I will be so happy. Its shell is hard, but it's still just a bug shell. It's been known to break, so intense battles with it should be avoided. Lame. In the past, they talk about like how ridiculously hard a Metapod is. Alright, Metapod. Um, you're going to become a butterfly. 
someday. So let's call you Fritz. 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 At some point, I think I'm going to go through... Maybe after this. I, would, I just want to get to the... I don't want to get into another battle this very... Ah, come man, they are really... You step into the grass, they give you... <gasps> a Pichu? Okay, there's a lot of Pokemon in the grass here. This is uh, very different than what I'm used to. Pichu is abnormally weak. I will give you that. So, uh, disarming voice, 40 power and you never miss. Water gun is also 40 power and pound is also 40 power. So, just good to know. Just good to know info. I'm gonna hit him with the water gun. This shouldn't kill him. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm level 8. No, he's, well, he's level 4. Ooh, that was close. He's sh <laughs> such a charmer. <laughs> you. You. No. You. They are really, like, giving you a lot of really cool Pokemon early, though. So we got the starter, the starter normal types. Picky Peck. Uh, Young Goose. Goose. Pichu. And we got the starter bugs. Looks like Moon, I'm assuming you get um, the Caterpie evolutionary chain instead of the Weedle one. Very cool. Like VC. Like very cool. So Pichu's done his thing. As soon as we get to town, I'm going to cut this episode. Pichu, despite this Pokemon's cute appearance, those who want to live with one should be prepared to receive to be on the receiving end of its electric jolts. I remember playing Pichu in, uh, in Smash, so... Uh, we're gonna give Pichu... We're gonna name Pichu Coach. Uh, the reason for that is, um... Coach Chu was one of my, uh... One of my coaches for sports when I was in school. So, uh, we're gonna enter this town. This is Iki Town. We just went at it a different direction. And uh, we got a little festival here. So we're going to save the game after <laughs> we regain control of our character. Look at this, though. They've really gone next level on this game. The graphics are amazing. The Alola region is made up of four islands. Each island has its own guardian Pokemon. Our festival today is to express our thanks to these great Pokemon. Pokemon Guardian Deities for always remaining by our sides. Well, we may call it a festival, but this is just a little thing you see. There may not be many of us, but at least every last one of us here goes all out. That's cute. That's real cute. So we're going to save the game. Save our adventure so far. Saves pretty quick, just like the last game. And that's going to be where we end this episode. So we're going to go into the next episode, kind of see what's going on uh, in this festival here in Icky Town. So see you guys for episode three coming up next. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.